he predicted and knew exactly where every player was. It was insane. There's gonna be a guy in the building right in front of you. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Not a <laughs> Pull out your sub. There might be an enemy around these corners. Ooh. Ooh. What's going on, everyone? My name is Elias, and we're going to learn how I knew where those players were in two steps. Now, the first most important step is always look at your minimap every second. Literally, every one to two seconds, you're going to constantly get information on where enemies are going to be, and you're going to be able to play for those counters. So in this very first clip, all that happens is he actually kills an enemy, we see his teammate over on this side of the building, and over on this side of the building, there's only one entrance to get up there. That's going up a staircase, and that is it. Now, if you fast forward about five to 10 seconds, I haven't forgotten about that guy sitting inside of this building, so I told him. Might be pushing up the staircase right there. This guy thinks he's gonna have the upper hand advantage against us, but guess what? We have Peeker's advantage, we're gonna fly in there with full confidence, and we're gonna kill him, right and that's exactly what happens right here. There he is. Boom, easy kill with Peeker's advantage, nice headshots, and then right here on the mini map, we see the teammate flying on the left, and we get this nice easy two piece. Beautiful, my gosh, those shots. How do you know that? Once again, we actually pop a UAV right before we head to this new point of interest, and we see these enemies camping in this building, and even though our UAV goes away right now, I tell him, get to the rooftop ASAP. They're probably just camping inside that little door right now. That. All right, clip number three looks a little sus, but I got to tell you, it's just Call of Duty timing and just slowing down. So right now, Hunter's teammate is dead, so I told him get to high ground immediately so we get information, and if you do get shot, you can always escape. Now, I told him to specifically pre-aim towards his left because he should be expecting enemies to be pushing up from this buy station over here. And because the gas is about to rotate in 30 seconds, we definitely can expect enemies to come over here. Now, I do also wanna point out that if any enemies try to go up his staircase, Hunter would hear it, he would be able to just play for those kills or run away, and same thing, if enemies try to shoot him over here on this side, he would have enough time to just jump off the building and escape. Now, what actually happens is I told him just to keep watching right here the it's entire like time, there. keep watching it, keep watching it, and uh, luckily what happens is we see a guy zip line up right there. Slide that room right there. Yep, he's gonna challenge right there. He's gonna challenge right now. What the fuck? How you know this shit? All right, step number two is still looking at the minimap, but now we're using process of elimination by slicing up the map. And specifically, we just slice up the map in a quadrant. Now, specifically at this building, I kept telling him, hey, right now, you keep focusing over here on your left, you keep looking for kills on your left, but what if there's enemies sitting over here on this rooftop? You are dead because you keep shooting. So I'm gonna press play and you're gonna hear me just you know, panic and say that. Look to your right, just make sure no one's on to your right, by the way. And I repeat this to him over and over again because you wanna make sure you clear out the rest of that section before you focus on anything else. There might be people pushing across our rooftop or to our right. Moving on to the next clip, we're doing the exact same thing. We are creating a quadrant and we basically want to clear out and cover this entire quadrant side. And as long as all of it's cleared, we are now safe and all we have to do is focus on the other quadrants. Now, of course, the best case scenario is we can also cover out all of these quadrants. And once all of that's covered, the enemies can only be in one direction and that's in front of us. Hey, yep, that's... Ooh. Start peeking, start looking for these guys. They should be like in these close. Oh, there they, are. they might be camping in a bush. And then in this last clip right now, because all of this is all open area, all of this is now covered because we cleared it all. And this is where I said, all right, now he's just basically got to be sitting in a bush, um, which that's all that happens is he uh, looks down, okay, he we'll starts randomly he's shooting he's into the bushes, and then we kill him. Like that. Yep. <laughs> and once again, all it is is process of elim elimination. We shot, you know, three different bushes, and then finally the fourth one, we find them and we kill them and we get the win. All right. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I will actually end up posting the full raw footage of this one on one coaching. Uh, that'll come out later. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and peace. I want to give a huge thank you to Hunter TV for making the video and showcasing my coaching. That means a lot to me. Thank you so much. And of course, thank you so much to all of the new and returning viewers. You guys really instilled a new confidence in me on wanting to continue to post content like this. Um, I simply just want to help people not only get better in Call of Duty, but get better out of game as well. So 
Uh, thank you guys. I hope you enjoy the video. I'll see you guys until next time. Thank you and peace.